I'll throw a picture up of that guy right now and you guys should know what that is if you've been watching the other videos. It's our friend the Gallimil. It looks like there's a comrade up in the trees up there, which is weird. So yeah. Different ponds, different life. Very, very cool. And what do I always tell you guys to do? good stuff to look at for. So yeah, like I said, some all these ponds have gone wild. This one, we're, we're standing on a pond right now. This is a pond, but it's gone dry. And we got a black here of when a pond becomes a forest and all the lovely stuff growing down here. And another plaque. Possums, squirrels, coons, dillos, deer, crayfish, crawfish, mud bugs, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, this this is just a really fun place of all the things going on. I just let a place go wild after being groomed for so many years. So, let us continue the travel. <clears throat> so, one of the other great things about this place is tower. So, this tower lets you see most of the park when you get up to the top, and I'm hoping it's open. I'm really hoping it's open. It, uh, more often than not, it's closed. It's got an elevator that breaks frequently. And the last time I was here, uh, some bees took up residence up at the top. So yeah, they shut it down for that. So hopefully it's open. We can get up there and you can see the view of the place. It looks open. So yeah. We'll see you at the top. <clears throat> Not at the top. I figured you'd like the uh, view of the stairs as we walk through them. So, like Sheldon. Downtown Houston is that way. <clears throat> the prairies. George Bush International Airport. Dallas. Beaumont. Houston Ship Channel. Sam Jack Monument. So it's kind of cool that they do that so you can get your bearings of what's going on. One more. Galveston. That way, yo. So yeah. This is
Sheldon Lake, Sheldon Lake State Park. And this is the prairie. All this along here, over that way, up that way. And that's the way out is that way. And then yeah, you got your various ponds along here, this wooded area. Birds flying around. So there is an eagle that lives in the area. Not sure if we'll get to see it. I haven't seen it in a year or two. Um, but there are hawks, there are planes, and a wide variety of other things going on. So we're just gonna chill out up here for a bit and see what else we can see. Unfortunately, I forgot my binoculars, so I'm gonna have to do this via the old normal squatch eye. So we'll be back. Yeah, there's the tower we were just at. Here's the prairie. We just kind of we could have walked the road, but it's super soupy, and I'm in just running shoes, and that could get really wet really fast. Oh yeah, this prairie is really nice. We've been working on restoring it. And throughout the year you get different, different uh, birds and bugs and stuff out here. As they come through and eat whatever's ready to be eaten and just a lot of diversity out here. Very, very cool stuff. And speaking of prairie diversity, scat. So it's, that's probably coyote based on all the fur and whatnot. They, uh, they do like to use the boardwalks as their personal bathroom. <clears throat> but yeah, the uh, coastal prairies are great because they will take all this water and just soak it up, which helps reduce flooding in general. It's just, there's only like 1% of all the coastal prairie in the U.S. left, which is why there's so much flooding in the coastal areas these days, because it's, it's all been replaced with concrete. Some of these grasses, they'll have roots that are 6 to 20 feet straight down, which help wick all this water from the surface down into the ground to help disperse it. So it doesn't just sit around causing flood issues. So yeah, we need more coastal prairies. Got to bring them back. And that's one of the great things that Sheldon Lake is doing is restoring this. And there's other places in and around Houston that's doing similar. Just coming out here and planting the various grasses and whatnot. To help with that so yeah bring back the coastal prairies and we'll deal with a lot of the water so, yeah <clears throat> we've been doing circles around this guy so now we're gonna finally get up onto the tall platform here we can take a better look at this gorgeous prairie before we do that, we can have a look at the map. Hey, look, there's all the ponds we just walked through. There's the tower we were just at. We just did this. And now we're gonna go boop, and then back down this way. So let's get on up there. Look, more stuff. Look at 
feats. What kind of feats look out there? American Vinterns. Haven't seen any of those here. Monarchs. Various things. Coyote tracks. I told you about the coyotes pooping on the thing. Deer scat. So yeah, this is quite the prairie. Not so much right now. It is winter. Everything's got to die back so it can grow again. We will definitely come back out here and uh, when it's full on glory of flowers and wildlife and such. So yeah, that's that's the Sheldon Lake Coastal Prairie. May not look it, but it is gorgeous. It is indeed gorgeous. So let's go find us some reptiles now. You guys know you want that. So yeah, no reptiles yet, but the amphibians are out. Bunch of tree frogs right in there. There's four right there, another two or three over that way. One down here. There's one over there someplace. Yeah, right over there. So yeah, we got frogs. Well, that about does it for our trip to Shell Lake. There were no gators, some turtles, uh, no snakes. So we're just driving our way back out of the out of the park now. I don't expect to see much of anything at this point. So I will go ahead and sign off and see you all in the next video. Cheers everybody.